Syracuse is the eight, Wake is the nine, and here they are again. Andrew Carr and Jesse Edwards get us started. Tommy Morrissey, Mark Schnur, and Ted Valentine on the whistle. Hildreth caught again in the zone, and look at the flexion car layup good. But you mentioned Clinton in that starting lineup, a smaller starting lineup when you can take it off the big fellas up front when you take out Matthew Mark. Hildreth. Nothing will be given away in that matchup. It absolutely will not be. You talk about two guys with some toughness. Speaking of tough, yeah. Judah Mintz, tough bucket it's getting into the painted area. Away with it comes Gerard and the orange. Skip into the corner. Bell a three. Got it. Chris Bell's 37 three of the year. Well, Dre, he's had great energy early, but one of the things that you've seen is Wake Forest putting an extra body on him on the offensive glass, making sure. We're going to have some quizzes for you. See if you know your 20 and 20 history in a little bit. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, Dre. I am so glad I'm here. That's Lucas Taylor wearing zero for the Deeks. Appleby baseline. Clintman sets it down. Bobby Clintman. You're talking about great vision as he showed in that last possession. Edwards, jump pass down low, catch layup, Benny Williams. That was such an intelligent play by Jesse Edwards. That shooting that Wake Forest is lacking right now without him has hurt this team. Williams had it rattle out. Look at Bell fight through. Young freshman from California, back to Williams. Feels like Wake's got to get some perimeter firepower going here, Corey. They absolutely do. And when you consider the fact that there's no Monsanto. Ooh, that's a great retraction there by Benny Williams. Getting back to block that shot. He and Bell both attempting to take that away from Marsh, who comes in shooting about 90% from the field. Williams knocks down another three. Since Wake led 4 nothing. There's Clinton. Williamson sliding baseline to scoop and score. Davian Williamson <laughs> only trail six here. And once again, the double team nice find for Edwards. And we talked about Chris Bell. He ain't gonna wait. His second three pointer definitely would come back. <laughs> oh, Dre, I'll answer. Dre, I would like for you to finish your question. <laughs> Bobby would on the you dunk. have come back, oh. Corey? Bobby Clintman who had eight points and nine rebounds in the last three starts, looking again. Wow. Malik Brown can cover a lot of ground and be a menace defensively in there as well. Appleby sliding through, kick out for Taylor's three. High arching triple. Lucas Taylor's eighth three of the year and his first points in the ACC tournament. Dr. Pauline Foster was our principal at the elementary school, and it was part of the North Carolina history you learned as an elementary school student. Now finds themselves in a one possession run here with six and change to go. When Syracuse hasn't taken care of the basketball, a tough shot right there from Joe Girard is able to knock that down. His first bucket. Guy at Wake Forest, and it would not be Randolph Jones. No, it's not. It would be a gentleman by the name of Derek McQueen. Oh, wait a minute. David Williamson knocking down the three ball. And Judah Mintz. Along with Davion Williamson, they've kind of set a little bit of a tone here today, but it's the bigs like Benny Williams. Copeland went for Torrance, stolen Appleby. Here goes the league's leading scorer on the board. Six for Appleby. Tied at 29. Wake on a 19-7 run since they were down 12. Williamson, a shot fake on a three. Feeds Carr for the dunk. Second field goal for the Delaware transfer, Andrew Carr. Wake Forest has handled, once they've had that gotten the dribble penetration, getting inside the lane, they've had a number of nice inside interior passes, but due to miss answering on the other end. Look at the lob for Carr, and that time Benny Williams knocked it out. Here's Mintz free wheeling, and a lay it in. Four in a row for Judah Mintz. With Appleby and Williamson on the perimeter here. Once again, inside the wow. painted area. Tommy Appleby can get to his spot. Hildreth in the deeps. Cam stuck a little up and under, and Cameron Hildreth starts the second half. 
and they've got to get out to shooters when he passes out of the double team. But he feels good about his team. Offensively, he likes the ball confidence as well. There's Carr at the ACC logo. Sweet spot against the zone. Wake leading for the first time, Corey, since it was 6-5 early in the game. Bell trying to put the orange back in front and does. Vince has numbers. They waited for Appleby to get back into it. Here's Edwards to dunk on Carr and the foul. Jesse Edwards running down the floor but staying behind the plate. Back to a four-point lead for the Cuse. Williamson knocks down a triple. Work on Williamson along the baseline. It grazed off the side of the glass. And here comes Appleby ahead for Hildreth. And the layup good in front of the uh, defensive Chris Bell. <laughs> he was sitting at the end line last night. I sent him a text. Go, where's your mic? Uh oh, oh, Bobby Clinton. That's one thing that you will find with Tyree Appleby. He ha does have the tendency to turn the basketball over. Had seven turnovers in the game on Saturday. Of course, you love to see him do a little more of this. 14 to 1 the run and the miss layup by Mintz. Here goes Appleby again. Williamson standing three. From the free throw. So it's been a struggle for the Orange offensively here in the second half. Wrap around the car. Tough shot and he got the roll. Lead has jumped to 13. A 19 to 2 run that missed. 17 to shoot. Ball never hit the rim. Edwards a little fake and score with the right hand. Pretty move by the big man Jesse Edwards. Are the top seed after the two-point victory against Pittsburgh, who plays next year in Greensboro against Pastor and the Jackets. Williams a two. And find a way. To get some rhythm going just like this and do the miss with the easy opportunities finishing it off. Now you've got a six-point game. Hema on the floor to replace Edwards. Gerard spotting for three. Here they come, Corey. Earlier in the broadcast today, from the perimeter perspective, that's where they've had to try and recover today with some other things. As you see, Williams tap follow and a foul on the Deeks. Here's Carr pivoting through the lane. Now Williamson looking for an alley. Three to shoot and Appleby. In the corner, Clinton three. Ooh. Especially in a tight game and we've got a good one. One point, here's Hildreth. Wake Forest looking for something in the lane and the sophomore from Worthing in West Sussex has got his eight points. Speaking of little things, he's been the guy doing all the little things for Wake Forest is never just able to get the easy bucket. Hildreth, foul line area to Carr. Williamson, four to shoot. Hildreth. It hasn't even been about his offense today. It's been about his defense. But he's thrown in a couple big buckets on the last couple possessions. Boy, sure has. Catch by Edwards in the quick turn. But that's it. Trying to find that crease in the zone. There's the flash for Carr. Hildreth's had the hot hand. And he scoops and gets two more. Wow. Cameron Hildreth now starting to carry Forbes' team. 13 for Hildreth. And a 7 0 run for Hildreth as well. And an answer for the Orange. Wow. Flash thrown away. Williams tried to feed it to Copeland. Here's Williamson ahead with Williams. And Damian lays it in. Now we have to see, can Syracuse execute and get what they want on this offensive possession? Drive and a score. And that's Judah Mintz again, attack. Kelvin yeah. Hildreth has been able to find his teammates, and of course, Appleby with four seconds remaining is trustworthy. Fall away three. Banged around, rattles out for Edwards. You change anything here, Corey? Nope. We're going to go Judah Mintz, getting the ball inside to Jesse Edwards. We want those two guys playing two men again. Danny Williams instead punches the orange to the front with the triple. Ten on the shot clock. Hildreth weaving through, spins and scores. What a shot. Still trying to figure out how he could tore to his body to get that shot off in slow motion. 
jumps, does a 360, just completely throws Jesse Edwards off balance. Jesse Edwards looks back at his bench like, wait a minute, did that just happen? Williamson runs the rebound. Here's Appleby. Four, three, back for Williamson for the win. Here tonight, not a great shot for Syracuse. Tyree Appleby with patience finds his running mate. Williams will throw, and Wake Forest wins.